So Tom Brady's going to have to sit out the first four games of the 2016 season. Here's what's going to happen. Bill Belichick was able to convince Dante Scarnecchia to come out of retirement and come back to coach the offensive line for the New England Patriots. He's been there for years. Heck, he was the offensive coach, line coach when I played there back in the 80s. He was the offensive line coach when I played at SMU in 80-81. A brilliant coach, great connector, great communicator. Jimmy Garoppolo, it's your turn. Now I look for Garoppolo to have confidence in the offensive line and Gronkowski, Martellus Bennett. They've got the passing game, all the compliment. This guy can play. It's his time to step up and do what backup quarterbacks do, win when the other guy can't be there. Now the schedule. The Patriots open up at Arizona. That'd be a tough game for them with Tom Brady. Count that as a loss. But then there are three unprecedented home games in a row, Miami, Houston, and Buffalo. New England can win all three of those games. I think New England ends up 3-1 and one to start the season. Tom Brady comes back in week five against Cleveland, and he is on fire for the next 12, leading this team to the playoffs. Here's what I'd say to the fans. Get over it, man. Let it go. Focus on the team that you have. Get past this deflate gate situation. And as for you, Tom Brady, I'd say this. It is what it is. The collective bargaining agreement that the players signed with the NFL gives broad powers to Roger Goodell. He needed those. He had to support those. He had to keep those for all the disciplinary actions that he has to take against the league's players. It is what it is, my friend. Good luck to you.